The Awakened King DLC has many things to discover and secrets to solve, including unlocking the achievement called Succession for discovering the one true ending. And we're going over how to do this, and at the same time, you are rewarded with this here, the Crimson Guard armor set. Let's jump into it. First of all, you must keep re-rolling the Awakened King DLC until you get the Gilded Chamber to spawn. You can't do it in your first playthrough, you will have to do it on your second or third, and it will always spawn in this cave you can see here, just after the bridge section of the Forlorn Coast. It has a 1 in 3 chance of being the Gilded Chamber. If it's not, you're going to need to unfortunately keep re-rolling and keep going through the level until it does spawn, and hopefully you just get lucky and it's one of the first times you do it. For me, it was on my fourth run of the level that it did spawn for me. Next, before anything, you simply need to kill the one true king either straight away or by siding with Nimue, it does not matter so long as he is killed. After this, return to the Gilded Chamber and you must farm three Crimson Coins and they drop from the tough looking Witch King enemy and only one will spawn, so you have to kill him, reset the area two more times and get three coins altogether. After you've collected these, head to the final boss room and speak with the Red Prince. Offer the coins to him and watch the cutscene. Enter, mortal. Lives such as yours are too short to stand on hesitancy. Know that you stand in the presence of the Divine, Lord of all that surrounds you, and true born heir to the one true king's throne. You may not be of the Fae, yet you reap the benefits of this kingdom with every breath. Know, strange one, that these lands and their people draw their life from my own, and shall do so eternally. For none have stood against me and lived. It is my hallowed duty to rule and watch over my subjects just as it is the duty of my subjects to serve. Now that we share this understanding, I will accept your tribute as one who serves. Ah yes, a tithe worthy of your divine master. It is the law of the Fae that I give you this in return, and by my law, foreigner. I also give you this. After you respawn, you notice the Red Prince has disappeared from his room. Now head back to the One True King's throne room and speak with the new king to get your achievement and armor set. You can also speak with the scribe as well. Guys, like and subscribe for more guides and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. The mortal returns. Know that you now stand in the presence of the Red King, Lord of this domain and Supreme Sovereign of the Fae. Of all my subjects, you rise above, a champion amidst peasantry. Your assistance in my ascension is recognized and rewarded. Take this, and forever be known in these hallowed halls as a holy knight of the Red King. Away with you then. Champion. The lives of the Fey are mine to protect, and mine alone. The lives of the Fey are mine to protect. Ah, the alone. champion. The Red King has detailed me with your many endeavors. I am Laywise, royal scribe of the Red King. 
Uh, do pardon my attire. One had to be clever to avoid the uh, prior king's rampage. Let me know if you'll require my counsel. Me? Cr I am a royal scribe, a master of words and wit, the stenographer, the very voice of the king. I. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I see now. This is splendid! Yes, my clever disguise has fooled you thoroughly. <laughs> As it happens, the Dran who once adorned these garments carried some supplies on his person, yes? Uh, I would happily give them to you uh, for a small, meager price. Proper compensation is very important to the Red King. You understand. I best get back to my med- 